We know what Ben Simmons is capable of on D, but for him, that letter can also stand for another word, disappointment. Because at this point, his lack of development is hard to process. I say this not simply as a result of him attempting just four shots in the midst of the Sixers' historic collapse against the Hawks, or given he missed 10 free throws in a game his team lost by three, but more so due to the fact that I believed in his ability to be a superstar. Simmons or Joel Embiid was a legit conversation for a while, and I was on Team Simmons for a minute there. However, against Atlanta, Embiid and Simmons became Embiid and Curry. And we're talking Seth, not Steph. That doesn't say much for what Tobias Harris contributed either, but Simmons was always supposed to be the other building block. In a league where shot creation is the most important commodity, in my opinion, followed by shooting, he is far too often a self-check. Simmons can certainly make plays for others. However, when it comes to creating for himself, he isn't much of a threat, especially from the perimeter, where his jumper is the opposite of wet, which is even more glaring when Embiid is still a force out there despite a knee injury, while Simmons can't be trusted on the floor in crunch time. That's not just a result of his woes at the free throw line either, as Simmons has taken zero shots and has only one assist in the last two fourth quarters. The bright side for Philly is the Sixers season isn't over. And Simmons can still show why, despite his scoring struggles, he is a net positive on the court. But given where he is in his career, for all the good he does, Ben Simmons should be better.